Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of Living Give for Before. Here we have Matheusinho. <laughs> Today we uh, move on from beautiful Tangia and we are going towards Chef Chowen or something like that. I will write the name under here. Oh wow, look at that. It's a nice entrance to the old city. It was our mistake Friday night to park in a place like that. Look at those doors. How beautiful. After this prayer thing, now people start to eat, right? I am Isabela and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living Give for Before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Chef Chowen. This can be pretty exciting to see a blue seed in there. <laughs> Only bad part is that it's raining. And I don't know how it will be. It's like a two hours drive, I think, for us from here where we are. And right now, Fabian is outside filling water on the hotel. He's down there. I don't know if you guys can see. He had some issues with the fittings because I think it's uh, outside holes that don't have the same fittings that we are using now in Europe. Then let's see if we will manage something. And in the end, we didn't. <laughs> but this was not a problem because we made the tank full just before we left to spend. And after three days in Tangia, we still have enough water. But somewhere on the truck is an adapter that should work next time we need water here in Morocco. The scenario between Tangia and Chef Chowen is beautiful. It is a 110 km drive and we followed the roads N2 and N13. Took us more or less two and a half hours to be there. We want to try and build. I'll be sure with my size. Yes. Down there, I think. Is the parking? Yep, All right. this sounds like a parking. Perfect for us too. There we go, now we will go for a little walk up in the city. We were waiting, that is a little late. Like now is I think 6 o'clock more or less. Because from 7 o'clock on, 
people get out of Ramadan, they are allowed to eat, then is everything open on the city, restaurants, bars and everything else. Then we decided to go there that we can check now with more life in the city. Then come with us and I will show you guys. It's a nice entrance to the old city. This is crazy, is everything really blue? <laughs> But why are the houses in Chef Chow and painted in this color? I googled it and I found two theories. The first is that the color blue scares mosquitoes away. The second is that Chef Chow received in the Spanish Inquisition Jews, and they used this color to distinguish themselves from the green that represents Muslim culture. Everything really blue. Look at that. If these reasons are true or not, I'm not sure. But sounds really interesting. As a curious fact, Spanish is the foreign language most spoken by the population. Oh, a house that's not blue. Here comes Mateus and um Papa. Look at those doors. How beautiful. It's beautiful, look at that. <laughs> We were told that now is the moment that they, for the Ramadan, after this prayer thing, now people start to eat, right? When this prayer is over, you eat. Yes, you need to wait for that. Now, this is Ramadan, and we had the best tour with a friend of us. Thank you, Thomas. And uh, But now we ordered it. And this is what comes. You can have an egg, you have a figo, you have a bread sauce, and you have a soup. And in the soup, we're gonna put the egg in this, and this is the And it comes with extra stuff usually, but this is a tourist place that didn't have a big door. And how is the soup? It's good. It's a Moroccan soup, right? Yeah. Wow. And they eat with orange juices? Bread. Fresh bread. Ah, honey. Wow. <laughs> so here is Matteo he eating ftor. Yeah, he likes Moroccan. Matteo, you like Moroccan ftor? Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. <laughs> what is it? It's delicious, huh? Mm. <laughs> there we go, some food. But there are too many cats around and they are really aggressive. They come to your table <laughs> and it smells like pee, cat pee. That's not nice. <laughs> there it is. This is where we park for the night. Home sweet home. I hope my surfboard is still on top. 
when I was up there, it looked like the bag is there. Ah, the bag, so super. 50 meters. This was something. 50. Zero, we pass. Pasco was warning us for animals, African animals. Good morning. Hello, Mateo. Check Say bon dia. Bon dia, the animals, huh? Oh. Wow. Mira. <laughs> wow. Pasco, relax. Pasco, si no no tigen. Hello, Mateo. Ciao. Der Basco gefällt es, der sieht ja nichts, das ist das Problem. Tschüss, Ting. Oh, look at this Bob. You, you see this one? Uh oh, this guy, this guy is not so friendly. Wow. <laughs> hey, Matteo. Hello. <laughs> There it is, in the end, yesterday night, we slept in this place because we were in the city of Chef Chauen, but where too many kids and people in this plaza where we are parked, it was our mistake, Friday night, to park in a place like that, especially in Ramadan time, because life starts after seven o'clock in the night, then, yeah, we managed to get to this spot, and we slept here, it was a lot of rain, and yeah windy but we're all good look at the view and up there is Chep Chowen pretty cool right beautiful view in the end all good but this is the camping life you never know what will happen to adapt on the moment you need to make decisions fast and yeah we did that and I think we got a better night of sleep than on the city Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this kind of a video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And yeah, see you when we see you. Bye bye. Yes, we have a new web page up and running. So if you want to know something about us, livinggift4x4.com. Uh, if you want to have a little consultancy, uh, if you're building your own truck or whatever, you need us, we are there for you, check it out. Uh, also all the links to our YouTube, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram. Thanks for following, thanks for thumbs up. Thanks for doing all this. See you when we see you. Here we have Matheusinho. <laughs> Mateo does not use uh, those peeps, but he somehow like it. Right now he saw a baby using it yesterday and he want to try now. <laughs> wow! Come in the ziegen. Wow! Ay, 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 ay. Mateo. Ah, Mateo. This gefällt dir, huh? Wow! Ah! Oh, and a dog. Yeah.